Today we have a head-to-head -head poly blend review. In both rackets we have Super Toro in the mains in the blue, and in one racket we have Toraline Caviar in yellow in the crosses, and on the other racket we have Toraline Enso Pro in the crosses. Let's see how these perform on the court and give you the ratings. Toraline Super Toro and Toraline Enso Pro in the crosses and see how it performed. For control, it received an excellent. On spin, I gave it a medium. It did not have the spin potential like something like a Solinko Hyper G or even a full bed of Wasabi. In the snapback category, it was very good, right. but not excellent. I felt like the Enso Pro was not as slick as some of the other Toraline strings, and therefore the snapback, and therefore not quite as good. On durability, it receives a normal. The Enso Pro crosses broke at about the six hour mark, which is unusual for me. I typically break the main strings first. And in this case, the cross strings broke first at six hours compared to my mains that normally break in between seven and eight hours. The overall feel of this blend can only be described as muted. I would have liked it to be a little bit more lively or even crisp, but muted defines this blend the best. Overall, the score is a B plus. In summary, it's a very solid overall setup, but there's nothing really exciting about it. The Enso Pro is not as snappy as I had hoped it would be when it was paired with the Super Toro, which I know is already excellent. And would I use it again? Probably not. While it's a very good blend of strings, it just doesn't have anything exciting enough to make me really want to use it again. Before we move on to Toraline Caviar in the crosses, just a reminder, if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel like the video, and if you have questions, ask them in the comments. Also, let me know if you like this new grading system. Now moving on to the performance with Toraline Caviar in the crosses. Control, it also received an excellent. On spin, very much similar to the Enso Pro with medium spin potential and not as quite as good as you would find with Hyper G or again a full better Wasabi. Snapback was a little different. It received an excellent. Toraline Caviar has a more slick coating than the Enso Pro and therefore its snapback was a little bit more robust. Durability also saw a little bit of an improvement. I broke the Super Toro mains before I broke the Toraline Caviar crosses, so durability was a high in what I would expect. For feel, I define it as crisp. I'd like it to be a little bit more lively, but crisp is the single adjective that describes it best. Its overall grade is an A-. minus. The Caviar has a firm feel and is less muted than the Enzo Pro yet it also lacked a lively feel and more pop I would have liked to have seen. The question is, would I use it again? Borderline, yes. This was a little bit better than the Enzo Pro combination, but nothing dramatic. So I wouldn't be incredibly excited to use it again. Here are the head-to-head -head results for both blends. The next head-to-head -head test will be with Super Toro in the mains and Wasabi X in the crosses and Snapper in the other racket in the crosses. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next days.